The Kim Kardashian apparel brand is going through a difficult period. According to reports, she's mired in a web of legal problems and things don't seem good. Reportedly, major fashion houses like Dolce Gabbana and Balenciaga are pulling away from her. The well-known fashion designer Anna Wintour has even filed a lawsuit against Kim Kardashian on the grounds of alleged design infringement. Kim's audacious decision has earned her the unfortunate moniker of design thief. However, the drama is far from over. Her husband, fashion mogul Kanye West, appears to be involved in the dispute as well. There are allegations circulating that Yeezy, his company, is suing Kim for allegedly stealing a design for one of her brands, Skims. Kim Kardashian has been accused of being an expert at stealing everything, including money, ideas, and designs. It has been shockingly revealed that Kim was close to singer Brandy's assistant before she became well-known. But by stealing, Kim allegedly broke Brandy's confidence rather than upholding it. Kim had access to Brandy's credit card when she worked as an assistant, and it is said that she continued to use it improperly even after she was fired. Kim allegedly took advantage of this access, along with Khloe and Rob Kardashian, to steal $120,000 from Brandy's mother. What's more worrisome is how deliberate their behavior is. Kim Kardashian allegedly kept the credit card information for a long time, waiting to carry out the fraud until she thought enough time had elapsed. Instead of spending the stolen money directly, they chose to launder it through Dash and Smooch, two of their own stores, to further hide their operations. They tried to avoid detection by passing the stolen money through authorized channels, taking advantage of Brandy's regular purchases to conceal their illegal activities. But finally, the illegal things they were doing caught up with them. At first, Kim was given the chance to make amends in private by Brandy's mother because they were related. Even still, Kim took more than a year to return the money that had been embezzled. With nowhere else to turn, Brandy's mother decided to take them to court. But when Brandy and Ray J stepped in and convinced their mother to drop the case and reach an out-of-court settlement, things took an unexpected turn. Ray J claims that this incident was a major factor in his decision to break up with Kim. However, Kim was not the only one to engage in improper financial behavior. She was connected to a wealthy benefactor named Joe Sho Lo in a money laundering scheme prior to her rise to stardom. There have been rumors that Kim went to Kazuya casinos with Joe Sho Lo on a regular basis. In a particularly controversial instance in 2009, Kim claimed to have brought back to Los Angeles a sizable quantity of $250,000 in cash that was purportedly won by Joe Lo at a Las Vegas casino and was hidden in a garbage bag. It turns out, though, that Joe Lo may have been involved in more sinister plans, with this instance being only one strand in a vast web of illegal financial activity. Joe Joe Lo is reportedly wanted by foreign authorities for his alleged involvement in a multi-billion dollar money laundering scheme, according to reports from The Insider. Allegedly leading a plot to siphon off $4.5 billion from the Economic Development Fund, a state-run entity in Malaysia, one Malaysia development Berhad, Joe Lo's actions have drawn attention from law enforcement organizations across the globe. The FBI conducted inquiries, but Kim Kardashian was not charged. The complicated financial situation of the Kardashian family was revealed by later events, nevertheless. Following these disclosures, the Kardashians were accused of tax avoidance, which was purportedly coordinated by the California Community Church. Kris Jenner founded the church, which is a non-profit organization that charges $1,000 monthly dues and 10% of annual income contributions from its members. Notably, Kim and the Kardashian family participate in this agreement, which yields an annual tax reduction of 10%. However, the church's ownership structure is questionable because Kris Jenner is its proprietor. As such, the money essentially comes full circle back to their mother when the Kardashian sisters pay their 10% tithe. This complicated arrangement highlights the opaqueness surrounding their financial activities and calls into doubt the sincerity of their philanthropic offerings. The whole situation seems highly doubtful and exudes a sense of doubt that is almost tangible. However, the story doesn't end here. There are still many mysteries surrounding Kim's financial maze, which has led many people to believe that she likes to inflate her earnings and net worth. In fact, the pockets of these so-called thieves appear to be constantly full of holes, which is nothing new for the Kardashian family. Remember the notorious incident in which Forbes revealed that Kylie had falsified the valuation of her Kylie Cosmetics company, leading to her downfall as a billionaire? Even while Kim Kardashian is still officially recognized as a millionaire, her actions frequently contradict this high status. 
This contradiction is highlighted by a recent run-in with the SEC. She got into trouble for promoting Ethereum Max on social media without disclosing her sponsorship. She paid a substantial fine of $1.26 million for participating in what amounted to a pump and dump operation, which involved artificially increasing the cryptocurrency's value before selling it to investors. People have legitimately questioned why she keeps endorsing products on Instagram a move more suited for an influencer than a business magnate. Kanye, who reflects the opinions of many, hasn't spared this discrepancy between perception and reality from his examination. Even while Kim is clearly wealthy, her material riches are nothing compared to the extravagant persona she presents. Therefore, even at the height of their marriage bliss, Kanye wisely preserved his financial independence, which is evidence of his insight in managing the complexities of their entwined fortunes. He knew full well that combining their funds would probably result in large losses, which is why he was reluctant to do so. People Magazine cited a source who said, they keep their accounts basically separate. Kim's financial problems seem to have gotten worse after her split from Kanye sources place her in debt to an astounding $48 million, which is a frightening amount by any standard. Remarkably, she had taken out a mortgage for the same amount on her $70 million home a year earlier. To make matters worse, considering how desperate they are financially themselves, asking her relatives for help is not a realistic option. Particularly struggling with a large debt load is Kris Jenner. The Sun claims that her borrowing binge began with a $7.25 million loan in August 2018 and was quickly followed by an astounding $40 million loan the following month. Further loans of $5.2 million and $5.25 million, given in January and June of 2019, respectively, highlight the depth of their financial obligations. The Kardashian family is known for borrowing, with Kylie herself obtaining a $7.5 million loan. The family's expensive lifestyle choices have resulted in a whopping $132 million debt burden for them overall. They may not be aware of how unstable their financial situation is, yet they nevertheless indulge in luxury designer clothing and opulent private jets, despite their financial mess. These financial issues are the most recent development in what many refer to as the Kardashians' flop era, which denotes a fall in their formerly undisputed renown. If they want to stop this negative trend, they must act immediately. Any expectations of support from Kanye, however, seem remote given that reports suggest he is completely focused on his new wife, Bianca, and has no time for anything other than co-parenting their four kids. It's impossible not to be amazed at the sheer chutzpah of it all amid all this mayhem. Many of the comments made by onlookers claim that the family's affluence is only a front created by trickery and deceit. The Kardashian dynasty's financial empire looks more and more unstable, from forging paperwork to exaggerating their ranking on lists of wealthy people. It appears that they will eventually fall, and no amount of mother intervention will be able to restore their damaged reputation. Prenuptial agreements protect Kanye from the worst of their imminent financial downfall, acting as a lifeline for him in this turbulent time. Some predict that the Kardashian family will plunge rapidly and dramatically into financial ruin as the threat of impoverishment looms large. It serves as a sobering reminder that their lavish lifestyle is really a front for the depressing truth about their actual financial situation. One thing is certain in this maelstrom of disorder and uncertainty the Kardashians and others like them are really unpredictable people. If you think this story is crazy, however, get ready for the mayhem that awaits in the upcoming video.